In a new essay published in the Wall Street Journal, Columbia University's president, Manoush Shafiq, talks about the challenges of drawing the line between what speech is and isn't allowed on campus and how enormously difficult it can be. But that the current resurgence of anti-Semitism on university campuses is intolerable regardless. Sounds a little familiar, right? The presidents of the University of Pennsylvania, Harvard, and MIT tried to walk the same line just four months ago in an explosive hearing by the same House committee that Shafiq will be facing. And Dr. Gay, at Harvard, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment, yes or no? It can be, depending on the context. The number four Republican in the House, Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, going viral after her questions brought out some of the most damaging testimony. If the speech becomes conduct, it can be harassment, yes. Conduct meaning committing the act of genocide? The speech is not harassment. Within weeks, leaders of both Harvard and UPenn quit after their answers drew intense backlash from politicians, alumni, and donors. The chairwoman for the House Education and Workforce Committee, which is holding the hearing, wrote in a statement back in March that some of the worst cases of anti-Semitic assaults, harassment, and vandalism on campus have happened on the grounds of Columbia University. Trying to address it all, Columbia created a new policy for safe demonstrations, adding a designated space for protests. The university also says it's taken disciplinary action against students in connection with campus events since October 7th. But some say that isn't enough. The Anti-Defamation League giving Columbia a D grade for its efforts in a recent report card. Shai Davidai is an Israeli business professor at Columbia who has been actively speaking out about what he says is Columbia's failure to address anti-Semitism on campus and is critical of Shafiq. She knows what's happening. She's done nothing. Shafiq says she hopes to find common ground for solutions to anti-Semitism, not just to make college campuses safer, but for the sake of democracy. Maura is joining us now. Um, Maura, one of the differences between this hearing coming up and the one that you talked about with other university presidents months ago is that the president of Columbia has had months to prepare here, right? Do we expect that to have an impact? I would think that it would, considering that she has been able to look at what already went down with her, her uh, colleagues, if you will, months ago. Exactly. Dr. Shafiq definitely has a leg up. In fact, she's already been able to put on the record an answer to a question that tripped up so many of the university uh, presidents, the question around whether a call for genocide of Jews yeah. goes against breaks university policies. And the Columbia's website now does say that any call of the sort is abhorrent and inconsistent with our values and against our rules. A Columbia spokesperson also uh, released a statement saying that they're committed to combating anti-Semitism and we welcome the opportunity to discuss our work to protect and support Jewish students and keep our community safe. And so that's probably what we're going to hear more of from Shafiq, Shafiq tomorrow. We also have that essay that she published as kind of a sneak preview as well, Hallie. Maura Barrett, thank you very much for that. We'll be watching for more tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.